This is WVLT News at 4. The co-founder of Clayton Homes and Clayton Automotive, Joe Clayton, has died in a helicopter crash. Glad you're here for WVLT News at 4. I'm Ted Hall. Hope you're doing all right. The crash happened last evening along the Tennessee River in Sequoia Hills area of Knoxville. A picture of the chopper that crashed connected to First Bank. FAA records show the aircraft belongs to CFA Holdings. And at one point, James Clayton, Joe's brother, was listed as the registered agent of CFA. On board the helicopter were Jim Clayton and his brother Joe. They are both pictured here. That is Joe on the left. Jim's grandson, Flint Griffin, and their friend John J. McBride were also on board. All except Joe survived the crash. They were picked up in the water by a private boat operator who apparently saw what happened and came to the rescue. Jim Clayton in a statement said about the accident and his brother, I'm devastated and completely heartbroken by the loss of my wonderful brother, Joe. Joe and I were as close as two brothers can be, and as only siblings, we have supported each other since growing up together on a farm in West Tennessee and as business partners for decades. My thoughts and concerns are totally for Joe's family right now. I'm very grateful to the emergency personnel who responded so quickly and professionally and to the caring couple on a nearby boat who gave assistance. Jim Clayton is said to be cooperating with FAA and NTSB investigators regarding the crash. The crashed helicopter will be taken out of the water and taken to a secure site to be looked over by an investigative team. The full crash investigation could take a year or two. All right, we're going to go out to our Abacus source. He's now live where that helicopter crashed into the Tennessee River to find out more of what you have found out today, Abby. Yes, Ted, this was also where that crash was. And you can see Jim Clayton's home is just over my shoulder here on the other side of the river. His neighbors tell me that he was a frequent flyer of that helicopter. We still do not know who was flying that helicopter at the time of the crash. His neighbors say that they started to hear some loud noises and they started to see that helicopter flying pretty low to the river there right before that crash. And then they saw some debris floating in the water. They also saw three heads resurface. It was a very scary sight for people out here last night. We took the WVLT news drone out to the river to see if we could spot that helicopter, which is still in the Tennessee River right now. Crews are hoping to take it out at least in the next couple of days because this is a main channel that that helicopter is still stuck in. Lots of boat traffic out here. Robert Crawford, one of the neighbors in the Sequoia Hills neighborhood, says he's actually a pilot and works on, on crash recovery. He says he's never seen a crash like this one. This is one of the worst he's seen since he was in the service. A helicopter very low over the water, and I realized he was too low to clear the fence where there's landing. And then he seemed to hesitate, went into the water, and with a second, the whole helicopter disappeared, and I saw the blades fly to about a thousand pieces. Those neighbors I talked to speak very highly of Clayton, say he is a very good man, and right now their prayers are with him right now and his whole family as he mourns the loss of his brother. Reporting in Knoxville, Abby Kasaurus, WVLT News. Abby, thank you. And again, it's not clear who was piloting the helicopter. Jim Clayton does hold a pilot's license, according to information filed with federal authorities. We'll gather more information for you about this. We'll report more coming up at 5 and 6. Also more on the WVLT News app for you as well. All right, Governor Bill Lee now addressing coronavirus.